So I'm up at like four, three o'clock in the morning because spirit just woke me up. Spirit always waking me up. <laughs> and during the times that spirit wake me up, God, I have to get up. I have to do either of my tarot. I have to meditate or I just have to talk to myself because a lot of the times he's just trying to get me to understand something. He's trying to get me to pray. He's trying to get me to visualize. He's trying to get me to understand what healing that he wants me to do at this very moment. So now what's been on my mind lately is a lot of people are always posting about how the person that they love or the person that they truly truly was in love with and that that was their soulmate leaves them at the time where they needed them most and i don't know god has put it on my spirit that they leave them at the time that you truly needed yourself they leave you at the time you truly needed to connect with yourself so you can reconnect with your creator they leave you you know they left you and you left them and you know because of the manifestations that you were asking for because you were asking for better you wanted better you needed better you needed to evolve into this great person that you saw yourself as and in that headache of a relationship or that just that hell that you went through with them you were manifesting something better and so he got you out of something that was destroying you because you allowed it to destroy you to a certain extent so you could realize what you wanted and so in turn they didn't leave you when they when you needed them the most they left you or you left them when you needed you the most when you needed to love you when you needed to start actually reconnecting with you and you needed to start re-establishing a connection and a bond with yourself so you can re-establish that connection with your creator so y'all can go coexist and so y'all can co-create your own manifestation so you needed to leave them to surrender to yourself to surrender to your journey again to get refocused and aligned with your purpose they left you or you left them in the midst of them almost destroying you it destroyed that version of you that was no longer needed anymore so they didn't leave you at the hardest time of your life they left you during the time that you the best time of your life the time where you're gonna gonna really rediscover yourself and really go on this journey of educating yourself of yourself knowing what you want knowing what you need knowing what you can do for yourself and knowing your worth truly a lot of people are always talking about some if i could do it again if i could do this again if i could do that and it's just like doing it again for what that karmic relationship that you went through it really helped you gain you it really helped you refocus with you it really helped you realign yourself with you you have to understand everybody who hurts you they don't hurt you because they hate you they hurt you because of the hatred of themselves they hurt you because of the pain that they are projecting onto you the self-hatred that they have of themselves and now they're projecting it onto you you have to realize that you have to understand that just as much as you're hurting they're hurting too it's just you keep it internal they did it externally that's it that's the difference so a lot of the times we'll sit here and we'll think and we'll just be like oh my god they left me during the time i needed them the most but no y'all left each other during the time y'all needed to find yourselves it's just only one of y'all might be focused on finding ourselves rather than the other and it's gonna take you to be the example of you loving yourself for them to come back and realize oh wait i need to do the same thing i need to do this and so now do you see how it lines up with your purpose but not only your purpose their purpose too how in turn that pain turned you into something beautiful turned you made you go into your purpose and then you became the example of what you should be you know of what they should be doing in their life and so now they want you back but in turn you don't want them back and you have a civil conversation about it and you just be like listen you need to be focusing on yourself like i'm focusing on myself this is a new journey for both of us you know and so then god will and give you even more greater karma because you were woman enough to know like this situation wasn't even about us <laughs> you know this situation wasn't even about me and this situation wasn't even about you it was about us really coming into ourselves it's not about our relationship with each other it's about the relationship that we have with ourselves so god has just been putting that on my mind lately he really just been putting that like when you go through a relationship and when you have these relationships with people 
these relationships are supposed to be building both of y'all so if you go through a lot of turmoil if you go through a lot of just fighting if you go through a lot of all of this remember everything is just a reflection of the life that you live with yourself so if your partner start acting right that's because of the connection that you have within yourself if your partner's cheating on you that's because you cheat yourself if your partner's hitting you that's because you abuse yourself and internally you want that you just could never do it to yourself but you attracted somebody who could do it for you so and i don't mean i condone any of that you know because i don't but i'm just saying everything is a reflection of who you are and the connection that you have with yourself just saying but god's been putting that on my spirit this morning he woke me up to say that so do what you will with it